Hello, everyone. I'm a Tom from the Blue Root team here coming today with a new extension that we're very excited about. It's all about relationships. There are certain shortcomings we've found in the native way Zoho CRM handles relationships. And this widget, this extension is all about handling those relationships. So let's get right into it here. So for starters, I have a contact up here. This person's name is Test. And they're part of an account. The account's name is Massimo Testing Household. The use case for this is actually, it's like a financial planning advisor CRM. And so families are very important. So the account is this household here. So that's great. But right off the bat, I can click in and I can see in this household, there's Test and there's John. But how are these two people related? I actually don't know that well. Are they husband, wife, brother, sister? Where are they at in the, I guess, hierarchy of that organization? It's not very clear right off the bat just looking at this. And so <clears throat> the first thing that our widget aims to do is, is solve that. So when I go back to the client here, Mr. Test, there's now a relationship related list. And when it comes up, there's three columns here and I'll go through each of them. But the first one is the one I'm focusing on here. So this Massimo testing household. So right off the bat, I can see there's that John test person. So perfect. At least that's preserved. But now what I can do is I can come in, I can hit this edit button and I can say, what's John relationships, John tests relationship to test. It's, you know, my husband tests husband and then uh, test relationship to John test is wife. And so I can add that in. Great. We'll hit save. And so now that's in there. Now that's recorded. So now every time I'm on test, I can realize that John Test is this person's husband. And what's really nice too is I can have a quick access where I can jump right over. I don't have to go through the account into this person. And of course, now when I go down to John Test relationship, there's that person Test, and we know that that it's. Uh, John Test's wife. So that's the relationship. Of course, if you needed to, you can even add new clients. Now, these would be existing people in the CRM. So I'll see. I think I have a bunch of tests here. Let's do Test Karen. And I could say, well, this is daughter and then mother. Uh, or I guess this is John Test. So it's the opposite. So it's daughter and father, right? So it's very easy to come in here and see those relationships and quickly add people to the same account. And so now when I come into test Karen, there it is, Massimo testing household. I can click in here. All these people are part of the same household. So it's much easier to understand these relationships, jump around to different people and add them as necessary. So I'm going to close all of these and I'm actually going to go back to Mr. Test here because the next issue that we deal with in Zoho CRM is, okay, I can define these relationships through an account but what happens when I want to actually just do a more casual relationship? Not someone who's part of my family or my company, but just maybe my lawyer, for example. Again, that's a common thing with these financial planners. They need to know the client's lawyer. And so that is exactly what this second column is for. It's to say, hey, this isn't just about, you know, uh, the people in your same household. We actually want to also keep track of all other relationships that you have. And so I load this up here, Julie, the client, this is a bad example because it's also saying wife here. Um, but what I can do here is in the example I gave, I could say, well, I want to add a client, add a relationship. Let's see if I have someone named lawyer. No, um, doesn't really matter. Let's just do, I don't know, I have a Peter in here. Sure. Um, so yeah, a bunch of random people. Let's do... Yeah, it doesn't matter so much. But what I can say is now this person, Charles Doris Peterson, is my lawyer. And then, of course, that makes me their client. And so now, again, I can define these relationships between people who are outside my primary account. I can start making these types of connections, this web of relationships. And like before, I can always click in here, open this up. Now it's loading up this particular client who is my lawyer and I can jump down to that relationship section. And sure enough, yeah, that test client should be there and they are my client. So that makes sense and that matches those labels. So now we've addressed two big problems here. One being, how are the people in my same relationship related, or in my same account related? How do I establish relationships outside this primary account? And finally, the third big one is other households and companies, right? So that's actually what 
it's pulling that name from here, household companies, which is my accounts module. Um, but other accounts, right? So yes, I could be part of one account as my household, but I could also be part of a company and I need to keep track of both. And maybe also I'm part of a holding company and I need to keep track of all these accounts. But by default, Zoho is only going to give you one account lookup on the contact. Now you can add multiple account lookups, but it's not very scalable. You know, you can't have infinite, you can't have 20 different companies because you need 20 different lookups. And then that just makes the data very, very messy. So instead we've done the same thing that we've done for clients in this middle column is we've allowed you to come in and really define infinite number of relationships with different accounts in the CRM. So again, I can come in and I can say now for this test person, uh, okay, great, I have another household slash company called also test. And so test as a person is related to the test company as the CEO, let's say, right? And so I can pop that in, great. And again, like always, I can continue to come in here and add as many as I need to. So maybe, I don't know if there's a hold co in here. I don't know, company doesn't really matter. You know, I'm just, now I'm just wasting time here. But the point is you can come in and add as many as you like. And so, yeah, I don't know, let's do, um, yeah, Amazon Canada Fulfillment Center. Okay, that was a random one that I just saw there. But yeah, I could come in here, say I work here and I'm a line worker. I don't know, something like that. So I'm CEO of one company and I work on the line for another company, but there it is. And now I can really scale the amount of relationships that I have for a given person across many different accounts. Okay, the last thing that I wanna talk about today is not so much the contacts. We've gone through all three columns. The last thing in terms of defining relationships is just inter-account relationships. So not you know contact to account, which is what this third column was, not contact to contact, which were kind of what these first two were, but now account to account, right? So how is Massimo testing household maybe related to other accounts? And so when I click in here, by default, the CRM is gonna give you the option to put in a parent account. And again, this is just borrowing the name from what we've called our account module up here, but this is really parent account. And so that's good, okay, I know who is the parent account, what Massimo's testing household is part of, but there's not a lot of context, right? And I could click in here, and so now, okay, I understand this a little bit better. This Wayne and Troy family is actually part of Blue Root, and if I click into here, okay, there's actually two member households, but, <clears throat> It's kind of getting a lot of clicks, very confusing, and not very, I guess you could say, yeah, visually easy to navigate. And so instead, I've just done all that clicking around. Instead of all of that, what we've now developed is, and maybe you saw it very quickly on that other page, is in the account module here, we now have this option of the hierarchy view. So right off the bat, you come in here, it's a view like this. Again, there's three columns. The middle column will always be the account that you're in. The left-hand column will always be the parent account. So yeah, what's your part of? And again, this matches uh, the parent account that we're seeing up there. And then also we actually by default include any children account. So if anybody had as their parent, Massimo testing household, all of those children, quote unquote, will show up here. So that's just a nice visualization. But what really the value is, is you can see this whole hierarchy of how we get down to Massimo testing, where he's part of this Wayne and Troy family, which is part of Blue Root, which is part of Big Wealth, which is part of all these different things. And of course, you can click around and start seeing these things. And so very much so, like I showed as I was clicking around, it's much easier now to see those exact things where I've got that Wayne and Troy family, Massimo testing is part of that, but also Wayne and Troy has a, a sister or a sibling that has the same parent, which is Blue Root, right? Which we saw when we were clicking around. And then I can go up even higher to, to Blue Root if I'd like. I could do that. I could click back down into ADL company. So it's very easy. It's almost like the Mac being able to go up and down through folders. You can do the exact same thing here. And so <clears throat> that's really the idea to have that visualization and that navigation all right there. And like all of these things, if I needed to, I can come in, click this, and I can see exactly what's going on with this particular account. So that's pretty much it there. Uh, I'll pause 
with that, we're really excited about this widget. We have a ton of clients using it already. We're getting a ton of great feedback. It solves some real pain points in the Zoho CRM ecosystem. We hope that you'll like it too. But if you do have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comments below. We'll try to get them to them as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye for now.